Day 18. Ooh, nice. Biceps and biceps are just a tad sore from my last lifting session, uh, but I, I want to keep working the body parts that aren't sore. So today I'm going to do uh, probably chest and shoulders. A little pressed for time today at lunch, but I'm going to try to sneak in a quick walk. I forgot to start Endo Mondo again when I started, so got to remind myself, you know, when I start a walk, start that, because I really want to track how many miles I'm doing. Oh well, I'm still burning the calories whether Endo Mondo is on or not. Anybody who's looked at any of my videos knows that I like to weigh myself every day. Well, I see a lot of people that say they only want to weigh themselves once a week. They don't like doing that. I just wanted to explain why I weigh myself every day and actually why I don't want to weigh myself once a week. I believe in the science of weight loss. And that is, if you can calculate how many calories your body burns in a day, you add to that the food that you eat, in the form of calories and you subtract any exercise you do you want to create a calorie deficit in order to lose weight and it does work i have tracked it before and calculated what my weight loss should be in previous diets and it's worked so i've convinced myself i know i'm going to lose weight as long as i stay on my diet and i continue to do my exercises i'm going to lose weight weighing in on the scale is information. It's, it's a reward almost, but it's additional information. And I just want to point out one thing, uh, just showing my, my graph. This is the graph, you know, of my weight loss since I started. It's really big loss initially. Um, and then it kind of leveled out. And this, this span right here is six to eight. And the difference, I may have only lost maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.4 pounds. So if that was a typical week, I could have weighed here and weighed here and then been extremely frustrated saying, well, I spent the whole, I, I worked, I worked out, I, I, I followed my diet, why aren't I losing weight? Instead, I can see what's happening during the week. After looking at this, as the week progressed, I kind of discovered what was going on. This spanned the four day Labor Day weekend. And typically for me on weekends, I have trouble keeping up with my water, drinking water. I, I just tend to lose track of it. Um, I also had stopped eating apples. I was eating an apple every day, which is good fiber and keeps things going through. I also stopped eating salads with my flaxseed meal. Again, more fiber. So I made those changes and I really believe that that's why my weight was stalling there because my body was retaining more water. You know, I had more food in me and the you know, food wasn't going through. So I wasn't seeing that weight loss, even though I actually was losing weight. And then all of a sudden, at the beginning of this week, I corrected those things. And then all of a sudden my weight shoots down. So because, you know, it, it catches back up. So I, I think the graph really should have been more like that rather than this plateau and the quick drop off. But weighing myself every day gives me what I need to see, what's happening and what I might need to change. Weighing myself once a week doesn't give me that and may only just make me more frustrated. I can't really see what's going on. Anyway. I just wanted to explain why I weigh myself every day and I'm going to continue doing it because I, I really like it. Again, I see it as a reward. I want to see the reward of the scale and if it doesn't show what I think it should, then I start looking into what things am I, am I doing that are making the weight not show up and it always seems to work. <laughs>